Hello rail fans, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're going to be building this Union Pacific SD70M locomotive. Now, we did build one of these a really long time ago, but it was way out of date, and this one's an updated build. So let's get right into it here. So as usual, we're going to start off with the rear coupler, so take a dark oak stair and attach that up. Under it, a sideways dark oak vent skate. Then on the next block forward, on the bottom middle, three polished deep slate blocks and an upside down polished deep slate stair facing outward on each side then five blocks above it come in front of it and do a three block tall t shape in the middle and put a torch on either side of this second layer in front of that a five by three of polished deep slate coming out to each side of the tracks then we need to grab smooth court slabs and we're going to put three smooth quartz slabs coming up this side gap and three on this other side. Then on this top middle back here, three oak slabs. Then we're going to come down and open a fence gate above the rail and same thing on this side. Then we're going to put two lightning rods here, two here. And on this top middle, we're going to put two fence gates and a wither skeleton skull. Then in front of it on bottom, put a fence gate above each rail. Then on the next block forward in the middle, another brick block, another brick slab, a fence gate. Another brick block, another brick slab, fence gate, another brick block, another brick slab. Then take netherite for the wheels and put them like this. And same thing on this side here. Then a fence gate on the ends of these two wheels up here. And then on the gaps between the wheels, we're gonna put two sideways lightning rods on all four of these spaces. Then we'll come through and put a hopper on the side of all six of these wheels. Then we're going to crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. And then same thing on this side, one on all three of these hoppers. Then take polished deep slate block on this top middle and do a line up the center to the front of this. Then a full row of fence gates on the side of it here up here. And same thing on this side, a full row of fence gates over here. Then, in front of this on bottom, we'll go three wide with polished deep slate in the middle and start extending that forward. And we're gonna make it 16 blocks long. So a big rectangle, that's a three by 16. Then on the side of it, a full row of upside down polished deep slate stairs facing outward. And then same thing on this side, a full row of upside down, polished deep slate stairs on this side. Then we'll come on the second layer with polished deep slate again, and we'll go three wide in the middle again and bring that all the way down to the front of this field tank. Then we'll come in the front of this on bottom, put a fence gate on each rail. Then in front of that, a set of netherite wheels and in the middle, nether brick block, nether brick slab, fence gate, then nether brick block, nether brick slab, fence gate, nether brick block, nether brick slab. Then go back to netherite, put a wheel here and here. Same thing on this side, and a fence gate here and here. Then same as before, on the spaces between them, we're gonna put two sideways lightning rods on all four of these gaps. Then go through and put a hopper on the side of all six wheels. Then crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. And then same thing on the other side, one on all three of these hoppers. Then we'll come up on the top middle with polished deep slate and come right up the center to the front of this. Then on this side, in this corner, we'll put a single block here. Then in front of it, a full line of fence gates. Then on this side, just a full line of fence gates over here. Just like that. Next, come in front of this, and we're gonna do a five by three of polished deep slate block coming out to each side of the tracks. 
In front of that, a three black tall T-shape in the middle, and put a torch on either side of this second layer. In front of that, three polished deep slate stairs on the bottom middle, and an upside down stair facing outward on each side. On the next layer, a block in the center, two upside down stairs on either side of it. Then up here, three oak slabs in the middle. Then on the side, three smooth quartz slabs, and three coming up this side. Then take out a dark oak stair for the coupler, turn around and stack it up to this middle second block, under a defense gate, open a fence gate above each rail. Then two lightning rods here, two here, then up here we're going to do two fence gates and a wither skeleton skull. Now we're going to come up here and crouch, and we're going to put a single deep slate brick slab above all six of these hoppers. Then on the spaces between them, we move one hitbox down and put two slabs on all four of these spaces. And then we have to repeat that at the rear end, so come back here and crouch. A single slab on top of all six hoppers. Then move a hitbox down in the space between it and do two slabs in all four of these spaces. Then on the back here, above the back, two wheels, we're going to put a skeleton skull, but not on the front wheel. Same thing over here. Then we're going to crouch, and we're going to put a lightning rod here and here. Then one here and one here. Then we'll come to the front, and on the front we go above the front two wheels. So one here and here. And then same thing over here, one here and here. Then come up here and crouch again, and we're going to put a lightning rod here and here, then here and here. Then on this conductor side over here where we have this extra block, we're going to hang a bell right there. Then on the front of the fuel tank, a skeleton skull on each side on the first block. Then behind that on each side, an inward facing dragon head. Then behind that, a mangrove button on each side. And then behind that, four sideways dark oak fence gates. And then behind that, do a line of anvils to the back of the fuel tank for the air tank. And then same thing on this side, a full line of anvils right here. Then we'll take out polished deep slate block and come up here on this third layer up and we're going to fill the whole top middle three, three wide, with polished deep slate block and bring it all the way down to the other end of the locomotive here. Right to the back. And then once that's done, we're going to come on this top outside edge on the upper hitbox and we're going to do a full line of oak slabs up here. We'll do the same thing on this side on the upper hip box, a full line of oak slabs on this side going end to end. And now the base is done and we can come up front to start working on the nose here. So we're going to come on top of the front on the third block back on the left hand side, two yellow concrete, then a door, then a yellow concrete and a blue concrete and a two by two of yellow. On the top middle, put three wide of yellow concrete. Then behind it on each side, a column of two yellow concrete. Then two polished deep slate stairs here. Two here. And three polished deep slate blocks across this top. Then on the bottom of this side, we're going to do a line of six yellow shulker boxes coming back. Then six yellow concrete above it. Then up here, a yellow concrete then three red concrete, then a door here, turn this way, a door here, then three cyan stained glass panes here, then come to the bottom of this side, on this side we're going to do five yellow concrete, then we're going to put two ladders here, and one here, then another five yellow above it, then we'll put yellow on each end, three red in the middle, then yellow here, three stained glass panes here, 
then two stained glass blocks on the front polished deep slate two stained glass blocks and actually this top corner one back here needs to be polished deep slate as well like that then on this top outside edge we'll do five polished deep slate stairs spacing outward come over here and five on this side as well fill the rest of this roof all in with polished deep slate block just like that Now we're going to come into a loom with a yellow banner and blue dye and we're going to put a horizontal stripe on the top of it. Then we're going to do a white banner and red dye, do these stripes and then make the top half blue. And this will be for the front. So we'll come up on the front here. We're going to put this flag one in the middle and then crouch and we put the yellow and blue one to either side of it. Then we need to come back into a loom, this time a yellow banner and gray dye and just make the top half gray. And we're gonna come over here and crouch and put this yellow and gray one right on the side of this door and then a full yellow one under it. And that hides the door from the side view there. Now we're going to come behind the cab here and do a column of three yellow concrete here, three here. Then a polished deep slate and three across the top. Then behind this, on each side, we're going to put two rows of three yellow concrete like this. Then three polished deep slate in this middle and one in that middle right there. On the center of this, put an anvil, crouch on the upper hitbox of each side and put a polished andesite slab. Then we're going to do three iron bars on the side here, three here. Above it, we'll do two rows of three polished deep slate on each side, and also down the top middle here. Then, behind this, on the bottom of each side, we're going to do a three by three of yellow concrete. Then three polished deep slate on each side, one down in here. And then on top of each side, three polished basalt. And then three polished deep slate in the middle. Then cover the top of this with a three by three of polished deep slate slabs here. Next, come behind it on the bottom of each side and do two columns of three yellow concrete. Then in these corners, we're gonna put a backward facing polished deep slate stair on each side here and here, yellow concrete in the middle, and one on each side behind it. Then up here, do a C-shape of polished deep slate like this. Put a cauldron for an exhaust in the center and surround it on top with a C-shape of iron trapdoors. Then come in front of these slabs, one block forward. Knock out this block, put in cobbled deep slate and an oak trapdoor. Surround it with four iron trapdoors. Now come down to the back and we're gonna change this block right here to black wool. In front of it in the middle, we're gonna do a three by three of yellow concrete and two rows of three polished deep slate. Then in front of this, on the side here, we're gonna go three blocks tall with yellow concrete and we're gonna bring it all the way forward up to the front here. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing on this side, three blocks tall with yellow concrete and we'll fill in this whole side all the way to the back with the yellow concrete. Then on this top middle back here, we're gonna go to cobbled deep slate and we're gonna do a line of seven on the middle right here and then another layer above it. On the side, we'll do two rows of three iron bars at the front, two rows of three at the back. On the middle here, we need a yellow concrete and a polished deep slate on top of it, right there. And actually back here, these three down here need to be yellow concrete as well. Then we'll do the same thing on this side, two rows of three iron bars on either end of this, and in the middle, a yellow concrete 
and a polished deep slate. Then, in front of this, we'll add another single layer of yellow concrete to the front on each side. And then, we're going to fill the whole top of this three wide with polished deep slate block and bring that all the way to the front. Then we'll do our back fans. So we're going to come on back with polished deep slate slabs. Right here, do a plus shape, then a second one, and a third. And put a trap door in all three of those. Then come to the third block out in front of this fan in the middle, do a sideways fence gate, and open one in front of it. That's for the horn. Next, come over on this side, behind the cab, and we need to grab some yellow shulker boxes here. And we're going to put four yellow shulker boxes down in this corner. Then behind it, a three by three of yellow stained glass panes. Above it, three gray stained glass panes. Then behind this, we're going to put gray carpet on this walkway and bring it all the way back. And then actually right here, this black wool is wrong. It needs to be a gray wool. Then two gray carpet here, one here. Then come to this side and come all the way up this side with gray carpet. And then right here, this shulker box needs to be yellow concrete. And we need to get two ladders on this so you can get up to the cab. Then we'll come up on the front porch, do a T-shape of gray carpet. And also cover this nose in gray carpet. Then we're going to take out an observer. And we're going to come to the back on this side. And we're going to knock out this block and put in a sideways observer. Then come back up front and we'll do our railings. We're going to take birch fences. Right here, come up four. Here we're going to come up three and over one. And up two. Same thing here, up three, over one, up two. And here, come up four. Then we're going to put two spruce fences here, two here, and a chain across the gap. Then we're going to do the same thing at the back. So go to birch fences back here. Come up four right here. Here we'll come up three, over one, up two. Same thing on this side. Right here, come up three, over one, up two. And here, come up four. Then go to spruce fence. Two here, two here, and a chain across the gap. Then take out your spruce fences and come right here on top. Connect it up right here and start bringing it forward. Then when we get right here, we're going to come up to forward one. Then we'll do the other side, so come to the back on this side. Connect your spruce fence up right here and start bringing it forward on this side. Then when we get right here, come up one and then over four. So it looks like that. Now we're going to come up on top of the cab. Two rows of three area trap doors here. Then a stove button on either side. Three more trap doors. Then three gray carpet here. One here. And then get around the span and in between here. Come back here and cover the whole top of this section in gray tarp carpet. And just go right around this horn. And then we'll get down and in between all of these spans back here and then around the back. Then we're gonna come down on this side, down here, and we're gonna knock out this block, put it in an oak stair, and close the trap door above it for the brake wheel. Then we'll come down on the back, and on either of these two fences, put a glow item frame with a frog light. Then, one right here with a frog light, and on the side of it, we'll do a, an oak side, one blocked out, with our number, which is 4016. Same thing on this side. Hit both of the sides with red dye and a glow ink sack. And on this left hand side, open two fence gates here and two above it. That will come detail the front. So we'll come up here. Same thing, a glow item frame on each fence with a frog light. Then we'll come up here. One up here with a frog light in the middle. 
then a dark oak sign with 4016 on the side of it, and same thing on the other side. Hit these signs with white dye and a glowing sack each. Now we need to make some banners, so we're going to come back into our loom, this time with a yellow banner and red dye. We're going to put a vertical on each side and a horizontal on bottom. New banner, vertical on each side and a diagonal. New banner, vertical on each side, horizontal on the top and the bottom. New banner, vertical in the center. Then go to yellow dye and put a yellow border around all of these. And then we're going to come and place these. So we're going to come on the side right here and use the banner right here to spell out union. Then on this side we come to the back right here and spell out union right here. Then we can get rid of the U, the N, and the O, but keep the letter I. And we'll come back into our loom with a yellow banner and red dye again. Put a vertical on the left, top half red. New banner, vertical on either side, horizontal on the middle and the top. New banner, vertical on the left, horizontal on the top and the bottom. New banner, vertical on the left, horizontal on the middle and the top. Then go to yellow dye and put a yellow border around all of these banners. And then we'll come place these. So we'll come back up on the side here. And we'll skip one block over from Union and use these banners to spell out Pacific. And then same thing on the other side skip one block over and use the banners to spell out Pacific. Just like that. Now we'll come do the interior, so come on inside the cab here. And we're going to come down in this corner with an end portal. Put one down in this corner. Then behind it, a column of smooth sandstone slabs up to the window. Same thing on this side. Then use your slabs on the side to fill it in two blocks tall here. And then two blocks tall over here on this side as well. Then two slabs on this back middle. Then two smooth sandstone stairs here. Come here and actually take out this block, put in two blast furnaces. Then a slab here and here. A lever on the right, in the middle a glow item frame with an egg crystal. And turn around and put a stair on either side for seats. And now the interior is done and we'll come back outside. And we're going to come over on this side. And we actually need to get gray carpet on all four of these shulker boxes. Then we have a window banner to make. So we're going to come into a loom. This time a cyan banner and gray dye. Put a border on it. And then make the bottom half yellow. And this is for the back cab window, and we put that right here. And there we have it, folks. We've completed our Union Pacific SD70M locomotive. I hope everyone enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.